Hello and everyone. Welcome to the brand new edition of Parliament This Week, your weekly roundup of all important developments in Parliament. I'm Kriti Mishra, and now let's begin the show. The Committee on Empowerment of Women has been reconstituted from 9th of October 2020. The members of the committee are expected to work together for the empowerment of women, cutting across the party affiliations. Lok Sabha member Dr. Hina Vijaykumar Gavit has been appointed as the chairman of the committee. The Parliament Committee on Women's Empowerment examines the government measures to secure women equality, status and dignity. It also reports on the working of the welfare programs for women. Members from the Rajya Sabha on this committee are Jaya Bachchan, Jharna Das Baidya, Misa Bharti, Vandana Chavan, Shanta Chetri, MC Merikom, Mamta Mohanta, Saroj Pandey, Sampatya Uiki and Chaya Verma. While members from the Lok Sabha on the committee include Dr. Hina Vijay Kumar Gavit, Lokit Chatterjee, Sangeeta Kumari Singh Dev, Annapurna Devi, Ramya Haridas, K. Kanimori, Shobha Karnalaje, Malotu Kavita, Raksha Nikhil Khadse, Poonamben Hemad Bhai Madam, Jotsna Charandas Mahend, Jaskor Meena, Queen Oja, Sharda Ben Anil Bhai Patel, Deeti Pathak, Navneet Ravirana, Shatabdi Roy, Gomti Sai, Sharmishtha Sethi and Geeta Vishwanath Vanga. The Committee on Empowerment of Women was constituted in April 1997 during the 11th Lok Sabha following identical resolutions moved in both Houses of Parliament in March 1996. Kriti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. And members have been nominated to the Joint Committee on Salaries and Allowances of Members of Parliament. It consists of 10 members from Lok Sabha and 5 from Rajya Sabha. The Joint Committee was constituted to frame rules under the Salaries and Allowances of Members of Parliament Act 1954. Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu and Lok Sabha Speaker Om Bidla nominated members to serve on the Joint Committee of Parliament on the Salaries and Allowances of Members of Parliament. Nominated members from the Rajya Sabha are S.R. Balasubramanian, Dipendra Singh Hooda, Bhuvaneshwar Kalita, Surendra Singh Nagar and Ram Nath Thakur. From the lower house, the members on the committee include Sanjay Bhatia, Chandra Prakash Chaudhary, Dr. S.T. Hassan, Prof. Rita Bahuguna Joshi, Mohan Bhai Kalyanji Bhai Kundarya, Adur Rakesh, Tirat Singh Rawat, G.M. Siddeshwara, Mahabali Singh, and Sunil Kumar Soni. The Joint Committee is a Standing Committee of Parliament. A member of the committee holds office for one year from the date of his or her nomination. The committee determines its own rules of procedure. The Joint Committee is empowered to make rules on matters specified in salary, allowances and pensions of Members of Parliament Act 1954. The Act pertains to regulation in the payment of allowances pertaining to travel constituency expenses, pension, provision of medical, housing, telephone, water and electricity facilities. The members of the Joint Committee elect its chairman. Rules made by the Joint Committee are approved and confirmed by the chairman of the Rajya Sabha and the speaker of the Lok Sabha and are published in the Gazette. Kriti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. And with a view to advise the speaker on matter concerning the development of the library, an advisory committee called the Library Committee is constituted every year. The Committee on Library has been reconstituted from 9th of October 2020. The Library Committee has five Lok Sabha members nominated by the Speaker and three members from the Rajya Sabha nominated by the Rajya Sabha Chairman. From the Rajya Sabha, the nominated members are Jharna Das Baidya, Swapan Das Gupta and Dr. Vinay P. Sahasrabuddhe. Members nominated from the Lok Sabha include Nama Nageshwar Rao, Jaswan Singh Suman Bhai Bhabor, Hibi Eden, Hasnan Masoodi and Asaduddin Uwaisi. The committee is a liaison between the members of parliament and the library. It encourages members to make constructive suggestions for the development of the library and its reference service. It advises the speaker on matters pertaining to the library, example, selection of books, framing of rules and future planning. Kriti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. And moving on now, the Committee on the Welfare of Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes held its meeting on Monday. The committee is headed by BJP's Lok Sabha MP Kirith Premji Bhai Solanke. 
On the agenda was the evidence of the representatives of Ministry of Finance, State Bank of India on reservation for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in public sector banks, financial institutions, Reserve Bank of India and credit facilities being provided to them by the bank with special reference to State Bank of India. The committee consists of 30 members, 20 elected by Lok Sabha and 10 by Rajya Sabha for one year term. The committee examines the measures taken by the union government to secure due representation of the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in services and posts under its control. It reports on the functioning of the welfare programs for the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes in the union territories. Priti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. The Parliamentary Committee on Personnel, Public Grievances, Law and Justice held its meeting on Monday. After the reconstitution of the committees, Rajya Sabha MP Bhupendra Yadav has been appointed as the chairman of this committee. At the first meeting of the Standing Committee on Personnel, Public Grievances, Law and Justice 2020-21, the committee considered selection of subjects for examination during the year 2020-21. Members from the Upper House on the Personnel, Public Grievances, Law and Justice Committee are Abhay Bhardwaj, Rajendra Gehlot, Naresh Gujral, Dipendra Singh Hudda, Sukhendu Shekhar Roy, K.R. Suresh Reddy, Shiv Pratap Shukla, Vivek Tanka, P. Wilson and Bhupendra Yadav. While members from the lower house on the committee include Pradhan Barua, Pradeep Kumar Chaudhary, Vinod Lakshmi Chavda, Mohan Delkar, Veena Devi, P.P. Mohammad Faisal, Jaspir Singh Gill, Chaudhary Mohan Jatwa, Raghuram Krishna Raju Kanumuru, Jyotirmay Singh Mehto, Maluk Nagar, B. Venkatesh Netha, Suresh Pujari, A. Raja, Om Prakash Bhupal Singh, Rajanim Balkar, Elias Pavan, Upendra Singh Rawat, Sandhya Ray, Kuldeep Rai Sharma, Mahendra Singh Solanki and B. Manikam Tagore. The committee is one of the eight standing committees being serviced by the Rajya Sabha Secretariat Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions and Ministry of Law and Justice come under the purview of the committee's scrutiny. Kriti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. And Vice President and Chairman of Rajya Sabha, M. K. Naidu, delivered the inaugural address virtually at the second National Water Award ceremony. He called for a Jan Andolan Award on water conservation and underlined the importance of people's participation to make it a success. The Vice President cautioned that portable water might become a scarce resource unless its wastage is reduced and conservation is taken on a war footing. Underlining that water is a finite resource, he called for a change in lifestyle and making water conservation a way of life. Vice President was speaking at the National Water Awards to honour the excellence in water management and conservation across the nation. Tamil Nadu backed the Best State Award followed by Maharashtra and Rajasthan. Water is fundamental to life, livelihood, food security and sustainable development and it is our duty to take all possible steps for conservation of the limited precious resource. Every drop needs to be preserved. That is possible if everybody understands the importance understand the challenge before the mankind present and future also with the growing population so we need to take this message far and wide to every corner of this country and Lok Sabha speaker Om Birla paid floral tributes at the portrait of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad in the central hall of parliament house on his birth anniversary Azad was a key educationist who played an important role in developing the education system in independent India. The modern day IITs and faculty of the Delhi University is considered his brain chart. He was awarded the Bharat Ratna in 1992. The portrait of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad was unveiled by then President of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, in the Central Hall of Parliament House on 16th of December 1959. So that's all we had for you in this edition of Parliament This Week. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Rajya Sabha Television.